Conspiracy theories are everywhere. From Bigfoot to Stanley Kubrick allegedly directing the moon landing, there's theories for just about everything. This extends to cartoons. Some popular conspiracy theories related to kid shows include an insane explanation for why Arnold's head is shaped like it is in Hey Arnold, and a theory that Casper the Friendly Ghost is a dead Richie Rich. Even lesser known shows like My Life as a Teenage Robot have conspiracy theories. Most of these theories are nothing more than random thoughts, but we want to discuss a few with Decent proof backing them up. The first one is a bit dark, but it's actually pretty popular, so we should still cover it. This theory suggests that Jenny is the reincarnation of a deceased teenager. Sounds like it's straight out of a creepy pasta, right? People support this idea with the fact that despite her white and blue color palette, Jenny's exoskin has red hair. So using that knowledge, they say that the original Jenny had red hair before. This theory would have Jenny trying to relive her life as a teenage robot. She would attempt to continue things as normal, only to be forced to save the world. I have no doubt that this theory is false. This is just too far of a stretch, and everything about it stinks of B-tier creepypasta material. The next theory has to do with XJ-10, and how she may have been planned from the start. This theory is supported by the supposed reasons Nora built all of the other XJ units, each which represent a component in a hypothetical XJ-10. First, XJ-1 is supposed to house basic infant artificial intelligence. XJ-2 would be for senses and targeting calibration. XJ XJ-3 was designed to fall apart to test Jenny's self-repair circuits. XJ-4 has impeccable organizational skills. XJ-5 would be testing her social abilities. XJ-6 would be for her to want to improve herself, as shown in her envious nature. XJ-7 would test her ability to predict events, which can show in when she suggests that their efforts are futile. And XJ-8 would be her combat testing. But what would this mean for Jenny, you say? Well, Jenny would represent the debugging stage, a test run before the final polish-up, if you will. But if this is the case, why would Nora not have built XJ-10? Well, the theory is that since Jenny ended up extensively interacting with humans, replacing her wouldn't help and might cause a panic. This also might explain why Nora was planning to build XJ-10 in a robot for all seasons, but stopped after Jenny returned to the good side. This theory is definitely an interesting one, and is a good explanation for XJ's 1 through 8. Now we just need an explanation for steam-powered Jenny. This theory has some grounds to it. I believe that it's likely unintentional, with the robots simply getting more advanced based on Nora's knowledge evolving. I wouldn't be surprised if Rob Renzetti confirmed this though. It almost seems intentional to me. The final theory is a fascinating one. The theory suggests that after the events of the episode Return of Raggedy Android, the exoskin became Melody's exoskin. It sounds crazy at first, but it can make sense with the backing behind it. First off, Melody initially appears over a season after the last exoskin appearance, so enough time could have passed to allow the exoskin to become part of Melody. Melody's appearance in terms of style is very similar to exoskin Jenny. But probably the most striking piece of proof is Melody's desire to be a normal girl, just like the exoskin tried getting Jenny to be. Logically, Melody's creator, Dr. Locust, definitely seems like the kind of person who would use Nora's creation for his own gain. If Melody is the new host of the exoskin, that would make her the Eddie Brock to Jenny's Spider-Man completing the reference. Out of the three theories we've discussed today, I believe that this one is the one that makes the most sense. While there are more conspiracies, these were the ones we wanted to share with you. If you want a place to possibly discuss more theories and other fun stuff, consider joining our Discord. Who knows, you might make some new crazy theories of your own. If you like this video, let us know. Maybe we'll make some more videos which cover theories in a similar format. For now, I've been your narrator, Andre. Thanks for watching. watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description.